Yeah, what's up, everybody? Uh, you know, I don't have my spreadsheet up. Welcome to uh, All Things Fantasy Grounds Talk Show, episode number 148. If you are watching on YouTube after the fact, please hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. You know, I always forget to say that. Um, we are going to be talking about stuff today, and Robin will be back next month. And I do have with me my co host, Fury Fate. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I've just spent I don't know how many hours trying to clean my ice maker. Uh, apparently, um, Texas had a water boil uh, because water plants went down because of that whole ice storm, freeze over, whatever. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm going to empty the ice maker because it could have contaminated ice. And I noticed there was rust in my ice maker. I'm like, oh, God. So I took the whole thing apart without taking reference pictures of how to put it back together. <laughs> Jesus. So I have all these pieces in front of me that I scrub so hard. And I mean, there's still like a little bit of rust, and, like the little nooks and crannies where I can't get shit into. And I like had the shit soaked in CLR for, I don't know how many hours to get the rust off. But yeah, I have all these pieces here and some of them are labeled A, B, and C. And I'm like, I can figure this shit out. Right? Just put them in order. Right? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to say that all things Fantasy Grounds Talk Show is meant to teach and help, but the opinions stated by the two of us on the show are not that of Smiteworks USA LLC or Fantasy Grounds or DMs Guild, uh, especially how to repair <laughs> ice makers. Yeah, <laughs> ice makers. Yeah. Um, um, I don't. I don't think we said that last week. I don't think we did either, because it was so. You know, I, I'm so <laughs> out, of, out of practice on this streaming. But we and... didn't really say anything incriminating. I hope. No, you just no, gave away a whole bunch of shit. I think people know. Let's, let's <laughs> they know by now. Let's learn. That's not what that's supposed to say. Let's learn. Let's learn how shit works. <laughs> I think that's what that's supposed to say. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm totally just not keeping up with my. Oh, here's all the winners from last time. Let's just delete all that, and we can then we can. Okay, we're just cleaning up everything, everybody. It's all part of the show. Um, today's show is actually just asking questions, uh, if you want to see, um, anything, how it works in Fantasy Grounds, if you want to ask about any of our DMs Guild products, how, how to work them or see an example, uh, basically just anything you want. Um, you've got two people here that use Fantasy Grounds all the time. We call ourselves experts. That might be a little overstep. Oh, no, I, I, I'm <laughs> just a dabbler. You're a dabbler. I actually dabbler. In, yeah, in fantasy, fantasy grounds. All right, and so if you have fantasy grounds unity, if, first of all, if you don't have fantasy grounds unity, that's okay. Most of the questions will still apply to regular fantasy grounds, as we call fantasy grounds classic. Uh, if you do have unity, you may notice a lot of times the red box around checks updates. I just did it before the show, so it's not there now. But uh, checking updates is now like super fast. I have. I think 240 modules from SmiteWorks, and watch how fast this whole thing updates. If if there's nothing to update, it just flies through it. I mean, it only takes like 10 seconds. It's done. And the only thing that would slow that down is if you have something that's updating uh, that they made a change on, or if they're doing like a major rule update or uh, you know something like that. Um, but anyway, it's really super fast now. Uh, we can go ahead and go go inside. Uh, if you have questions, just put them in the chat, guys, and we'll answer them. Or we will figure out. If we don't know the answer, we'll figure it out. Yeah, um, it's, it's a fun learning experience together. That's right. And when you load Fantasy Grounds, um, you know, for a person like myself who has so many, what is it, what I say, 240 modules, when you open the library, it literally used to just sit there for 25 or 30 seconds and uh not you know not do anything until the library loaded now they've changed it to where they load the library uh 10 things at a time so watch when i open the library and go to wasn't modules. uh that part of the newest patch 
Yes, it was. It was a February 16th patch they did. So when I clicked on modules, it, it literally took like 30 seconds to open it, and now it just goes instantly. Now what they've done is they've made it so that there's only 10 things you can look at at a time, and they've done it like the pages. So I have... I have... Uh, Three, I have at least 350 modules, but and 240 of those are purchased from SmiteWorks, and the other hundred and something is is you know DMs Guild stuff that I have. And believe me, if I had it, you know I archive stuff. So of the 400 titles I have in DMs Guild, if I had them all in here, I'd have like 640 titles or something. So you can hmm. you can do this, and they've also got now the search function, so you can like if you're looking for the player's handbook, you can go do that and you can also search by author so yeah so it's pretty cool uh some people have complained that they would like to see more and uh you know like it, it only shows you 10 and they would, they would like the option to to ha to be able to see more uh i happen to know a little secret everybody uh team two is working on an extension to accomplish that thank you so we'll see how how long that takes awesome um i wish that oh what was the other thing that was um brought up in the update the big update wasn't that lighting thing fixed oh the light, fixed well, no, the, the lighting hasn't happened yet you mean like the torch light and the dark vision and oh, all okay no, that i got excited happened. yeah it, it's coming Nothing. it's coming it's coming uh i wish that was toggleable i can't find crap now oh yeah well so um bang naughty bit said uh, the, let's see we're, we're gonna either either an extension or an update diablo bob says Oh yeah, um, and then there's sidebar buttons. That, oh yeah, the sidebar change. buttons now. I don't are, like it. Yeah, I do like it because it's smaller and easier to read. So these are these are now like text text Ugh. things, right? But I want my pictures. <laughs> any anything that makes pictures, any extensions that makes pictures, any re thing that replaces colors, those all won't work anymore. So those are just done. Oh. Uh, so oh, wait, oh, I yes. can't go back to like the the banner icons that they used to have. No. It can't do it. No. <gasps> so i'll show that mosk and Foz. i'll show what he's talking oh, about what the fuck is going on i'm oh, opening another hard. i'm open join campaign join rob to e test join and then it says something about something about unlock portrait yeah i'm going to show that right now but i have to log on as a player to show that because i got to get portraits up there yes bangs i agree i i'm not a big fan of text i like the little pictograms just because, you know, like you said, they're um, faster to identify. I love you, man. Team 2 <laughs> may be able to make an extension that increases the font size on those banners if you guys want. I don't know. I, just uh, I thought you were going to do the whole thing to increase font size in general. That's because that extension doesn't work currently, right? Oh, I, I don't know. We can try that. That can be one of the things we try. Good, because I know some people who can't see small text complain about that. Uh, just me. saying. Yeah, me. But, you know, <laughs> you know. Tuesday, I'll be a senior citizen. I, I'm, I'm. Somebody told me it's not fatal, but still, I have glasses. It's fi financially helpful. <laughs> All right, so let me open a bunch of uh, characters here. Uh, uh Nafam, thank you for resubscribing with your Prime. Seven months in a row now. Oh, Nafam, yeah. It hasn't given. It do, hasn't... You, do you not have that? You know, the little alert. It, it does, but it's delayed. So when they do it, it's like uh, 30 seconds later, I'll he you'll hear it, and then it'll show on the screen and everything. Um, oh, my God. Why? Why? <laughs> I just looked at the screen. Why? Why? No, no, no. Thank you. I don't want my fucking picture you... on there. I, I, was on, I was on camera. <laughs> I didn't realize I was. You know? Oh, I man. can't, like, pick my ass or pick my nose or scratch my face or anything if I know I'm on camera. You can, and uh, people are going to judge you so harshly. Oh, oh, Bell is well. I mean, I'm you know a lot of places. The reason I say 55 is a senior citizen is because you can get like discounts on food at 55. Whatever. I've been getting them since I was 30, since I had gray hair. But all right. Um. So let. So here. So yeah. As a player, you can <clears throat> unlock the uh, portraits and. And move. The, let's see. Uh, how, oh, you got to come over here, I think. And yeah, you can move this around. You can put it anywhere now. And then as a DM, mm. same thing. You can you can move these, mm. right? I, want them I don't right know if I now. like that. I want them. I want them right here. I want them inside here. You know, whatever you want to. Do. I want them right in the middle. Whatever the hell. And then if you want to reset <laughs> it, you know, like that. 
Huh. Like that. Like I that. Don't know like if that. I like that. Well, it's an option. Um, you don't have to. No, you, as a matter I of fact, guess. if you leave them locked and you don't mouse on it, you don't even know that's a thing. You have to mouse over it to see that lock. So you wouldn't even, oh. you would never notice it. I, I didn't notice it it's until like somebody told me. It's like a hidden me. thing. Yeah. Wow. It's hidden. There's me. There's you. She doesn't count. Uh -huh. She's out. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's just, she'll be back. I asked she, her you have to find a replacement out. No, no, no. She, yeah, she, she said that to me. She goes, if you don't want to have me back. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're taking vacation. It's fine. It happens. She's out. Um, <laughs> in, in that order, man. Oh, I must have said something that I've forgotten. I love that. Uh, yeah, case. that whole picking thing. Oh, yeah. So, oh, can you change the order? Wait a minute. That's interesting. Can you... Can you what, change... change the order of the portraits? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's a thing, really. I, I don't know. No, that, no. I don't think so, yeah. He was referring to your um, things that you don't want people to see you to do on, on camera. Oh. Like, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have own... to do it again. Slapping yep. my own face. I don't usually do that. That yeah. that was actually ill advised. <laughs> now that I that fucking hurt. I don't know why I did that. Anything for a laugh. <laughs> uh, and I did it three times instead of just once. What the hell? I know. I it's like you didn't learn that first time. Um, <laughs> I didn't mind the first time. All right, guys. So what other questions? Does anybody want to see anything? Uh, I heard you might be able to resize them in the future. Oh, that might be a thing. Resize these uh portraits. Yeah. Um, not to sound, um, I don't know, rude to the, to, um, the team, <laughs> but why, why would you want to do that? I don't understand. I don't know. Just I like mean... moving them. I don't understand why did they, they could have been focusing on something else on the list of, you know, a hundred things that people want. I didn't know, uh, moving character portraits was on the list of things people want. Hey, the, the, uh, previewer extensions installed so you can, whoops preview things yeah look at that shit it still works um and uh, yeah uh background pick what about background pick oh that was something you could always change right yes yeah, so you can change you, the right you can change these to whatever is available to out of the out of the options that you have uh, I made you know, I made that one for our show, so we always just use that. Uh, Fury is a bit choppy. Yeah, her her we she's got a mic problem we couldn't fix. So sorry about that, uh, everybody. I, I You're just gonna have to suffer. I'm so sorry. Yeah, suffer. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be fixed. Um, just pretend week. that you're in a romantic relationship with me, people in the chat, and then. That level of suffering is what you have to endure from the mic of Fury. <laughs> it might be a little worse. That's, that's a little uh, much, yeah. Custom under options. Well, optios, but I, I assume he means... Oh, 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 yeah, here, here. This this, this is a good thing to talk about. Um, so you used to be able to... Uh, you, you would open the library, and then up here there would be a whole thing about what buttons to pick over here. But that's now here in the options. So options again are the are the uh, this cogwheel here options, and then this sidebar is where you can pick. Um, I don't want any. I want the GM oh. ones. I want the play ones. I want the create PC ones. I want all of them. Or you can you can pick. I just you can pick the order. I want parcels first, then tables, then backgrounds, then notes. You can do that. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. And I always go all. And I'm used to the order that they come in by default, so that's what I like. Um, setup is still the same. You can, you know, all this stuff that was there before. Message of the day is now a thing that's included. So it's not an extension anymore. You can type the message of the day in here. And it's got all the formatting uh, that any story entries have. So that's there for you and um you can put links in there and everything so you can you can have a whole sophisticated message of the day where like what we use in our games is we give everybody the sirenscape link to connect to the sounds and maybe there's a website that you connect your players to to for your games or whatever you can do all that in the message of the day and then 
uh, I'll just use this as an example. And then when I go back over here, let me disconnect and I'll reconnect. And then you'll see how that works. Um, boom. So when I come on as a player, the message of the day will pop up. And for those of you that were using the MOTD extension before, it works exactly the same way, only you don't have to do anything. It's just part of the, you don't have to have an extension anymore. And the MOTD extension was a was built by one of the SmiteWorks employees, so Fantasy Grounds did not steal it from anybody. They they just changed the way they were doing it. Incorporated into their thing. Okay, cool. Right, because a lot. You know, I was about to always, say, I'm like, oh, somebody's just losing money right there. Yeah, because we always yeah, get the question like, why why aren't the spell codings just part of Fantasy Grounds, and why 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 everybody you know, especially new people, like after they play or become a part of the community for a year or two, they get it. So see, there it is. Boom. Right there. And, uh, but you know, everything on the DMs Guild that's Fantasy Grounds, uh, Smite, Smite Works, the, the company that owns Fantasy Grounds, they make 10%. And they support our efforts. They love us. They love all the DMs Guild creators. They, they're totally for it. And in some instances, they, at least one instance, they have gone to an author and said, hey, can we buy this from you? Uh, and put it as part of the program and we'll pay you off or whatever. And that that situation is what blew up the extension problem on DMs Guild la at the end of last year. And now there's still – there's going to be a Fantasy Grounds Forge and extensions won't be on the DMs Guild anymore. They'll be on the Forge and it, it's a whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't. Whoa. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> you it's can't think same, about it yeah, right now. the same way when somebody talks to me about how everything QAnon believes is, is – perfectly fine and real i i my my response to that is i just can't i can't even <laughs> talk to you i can't have any discussion wow. uh it's fun going between the player and the gm mm -hmm. all right did i miss any questions uh um assets preview uh, image oh oh yeah the background picks you kind of lost over that and didn't talk about it at all well is that what he's talking well, about preview the preview yeah. is, it's oh background oh, picks i don't i don't you have to be more specific i don't background picks can mean so many things are you talking about making a picture part of the desktop or are you talking about the these things here or what what, what does that even mean he's he's also saying preview image which means could be the previewer extension i was showing there for a second background picks set to custom then go to assets preview image over the desktop click okay wait what is he saying now okay options the desktop background picks. images okay. like you have those pictures on the desk background picks where the fuck decal image is that what you mean there's no background picks i don't see what you mean yeah the decals well he how you have that, our... did he? he said he said background well that's picks. what he means uh, see, and you, you asked about the desktop and he said yes the desktop i'm no mind reader oh my gosh i swear to god <laughs> So okay, so, yeah. is fine. It, Rob is um, he's cool. a guy. He's one of those thick-headed guys who doesn't understand context and, and you know. Okay, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> I in my life, all throughout my life, and I still, I still, I try to not do it. I try to concentrate on not doing it. But I had, I had been conf confusing or conflating the words commercial and cartoon. And I didn't know I was doing it. So I would say to a friend, oh, remember that <laughs> Remember that one Bugs Bunny Daffy Duck commercial where they did this and did that? And the, my, my friend would go, no, I, I've not seen that one. And I, and I would freak out. I'd be like, you haven't seen the Bugs Bunny Elmer Fudd commercial. And they're like, well, what's the product? And I'm like, what? And I'm thinking <laughs> – because I, I think I've said cartoon, right? Uh -huh. And, and I, I, I have no idea what caused this to be a phenomenon in my life, but this happened to me many, like dozens and dozens of times. And it would be this fight where I'd be like, "You can't, you, you can't be serious." And they're like, "Well, if it's a commercial, what, what's the product they're selling?" And I'm like, "What are you fucking talking about?" And they said, "Well, you said Bugs Bunny commercial." I said cartoon, and they're like, "No, you didn't. You said commercial." <laughs> and like the first few times it happened, I was like, "People are stupid." And then I found out I was just doing it all the time. And so my wow. reason, my reason to tell that story is, if you mean decal image, say fucking decal image. Don't say background pics. That's that's what I've told that story for. Mm, okay. I can't tell what mean. <laughs> All right. So Anyways, now, what's his real question? How you, 
He wants to know how you can um, create your own custom decal picture. Okay. Of Fancy Grounds. Yes. Uh, so. Okay. Great. <laughs> so here's how you, where is it? Right here. So these, these decal images are part of an extension. And in my particular case, I will show you. Uh, so extensions are, you know, files that are .ext, but they're really just zip files containing other files. So like, for example, I have this one open. And by the way, this is a little technical, but if you have the ext file or the unzipped version of it in a folder, it'll work either way. They work both ways. And it will default to the folder before it goes to a .ext. So if you have... If you have both versions, this one and this one, but you've done something like I go in here and, re and take a picture and remove it or change it, it's going to um, it's going to default to the folder that you have rather than the file. So anybody that doesn't know about extensions didn't understand a word I just said, but if you do, you kind of... He says that you don't need to use the extensions anymore. That is probably just a full that you can drag and drop images into. Well, see, I don't know about this. Is that true? I don't know. Let's test it. Uh, fantasy girl. Oh, yes, yeah. Boss and Foss says you don't need the extension. The Garster says you don't need the extension. So there's a folder now for decals, I'm assuming. Correct? Yeah, it's Is not there... called decals. What's it called? Oh. What's the folder called? Portraits. Okay, you're going to have to let me know what the folder's called, because <laughs> I don't see it. Oh. Okay, so it's set oh, decal to oh, custom oh, under oh, option. Oh, 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 my God. We're going to learn something. <laughs> custom. Okay, it's custom. Now, where do I go from here? Go to assets. Again, assets. <laughs> Get out of I'm town. Afraid. Okay. So Get let's say let's say I want it to be this token, right? So how do I? Wait, wait, do wait I... is this assets and this is images? Oh, go right? to images. Okay. See, he told me to go to assets, not images. Well, yeah, assets first, and then images. Where you pull up the assets and then images. See, everyone. I get you. I get you so hard. I understand. Then the image folder. Okay, we're in image folder. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Since Robin's not here, we gotta do the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> preview, preview picks. Pick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so double click on a picture. Okay. Is that a double click? Or I'm, oh, yeah, I'm opening the book of layers. You see that it's taking a while. Okay. 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 Set mm -hmm. as background detail. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Now, wait a minute. Yes. Oh, wait. Now, hold on a second. Can I do. <laughs> Can I do, uh, can I do, uh, uh, so excited. All right. Now, wait a minute. Like a fucking kid on Christmas. Okay. So the disadvantage is that you can only do one. You can't have multiple in there. Like, you know, I have my, <laughs> my card, my avatar, this show, right. I can cycle through them all with this thing. The advantage is you don't need an extension, but you can only set one decal. And then once, if you want a different one, you have to go fucking dig it out and set it again. I don't know that I like. <laughs> yes, you did it, Garf. Oh, God. Don't, don't nitpick. No, it's awesome. I'm just saying. If you, you know, like... I, I don't know. I, it, so, I'm so used to having, you know, like, you can turn on decals from certain books... You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, this is why they said they're not going to do that anymore. So SmiteWorks made an announcement maybe a month ago where they said each time the new Watsy books come out, they're not going to make a decal package for it. 
and this is why because oh. they that you could you could just now do it this way i don't like mm -hmm. it nope i'm out foundry, <laughs> foundry btt here i come i'm just kidding uh but yeah thanks for sh walking me through that you, you got to treat me like i'm five as fury, fury uh -huh. done a lot faster yeah. <laughs> but you know the, the you reason is the, re the reason my brain works that way is because when you write down like 13 times 52 i do it the right way i don't break it into tens and fucking estimate it and then come to the same conclusion after fucking half an hour my brain doesn't work the way young people's brains work now it works the old way uh, the right way i guess <laughs> changes what's this shit I fear change. <laughs> so yeah, so um, you can just set the background to anything you want as long as it's an image. Now wait a minute. Oh, it's not gonna work. Only images, so tokens won't work either. Only nope, only images. Okay. So only images will work. And. If you have as many images as I do, when you double click on it, you gotta wait a half hour. Look at this, the blue circle. It's the blue <laughs> circle, everybody. I have so many. Oh my god. But you know, you can do that, and then you can set that as a background decal, like that. Which is kind of cool. When he said background pics, I thought he was talking about um where. You can open you can, you know you can open an image. I, I never do this, but I know the functionality's there. Like, is it gonna give me the image? Like, what the fuck? Open it. There we go. Uh, and it, and then isn't there a thing where you can make the entire the entire desktop this image? How do you do that now? Uh, a thing. According no, to the it's, Garster? It's, oh, no, no. So you guys remember in Fantasy Grounds Classic, if you had any image open, there was a thing where you could click up here that made it, it, it made it the whole desktop. And maybe they took that away. Uh, we're, we think that's just with maps. Well, this is a map. I, oh, I mean, we, I mean the, the chat. You need to lock it first and then click on the arrow at the top right side of the bar. Oh, yes. Th there. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. So I, ne I never do this, which is why. But that's a that, So when he said background image, this is what I thought of because that's an image on the background. That, that's why, you know, my being picky about say what you mean is comes to like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. And then... <laughs> You can, um, yeah, so that that's kind of cool if you want to have, like, the map you're working on be the whole thing, and then you can just put it back the way it was, like that. Yeah, this is the thing, the, the arrow there, so that that's cool. You can do that with any picture. Any picture. Not library, assets. So you can go to... Yeah, and it won't work with tokens or yeah, only only images because images are the only ones you can make. You know, create, uh, create an image record with, and then and I don't think you have to lock it. Yeah, you don't have to lock it. You just have to click that arrow. The arrow is the thing I couldn't find in my mind. I couldn't remember. So if you make it big like that as a background image, as you say, uh, does the grid still work? Yeah. So in Unity, in Classic, it doesn't. You can't even manipulate it. But here, it just makes it. So that the the whole thing is still there, the line of sight's still there, the grid and everything it's all still there, and you can still do this. It just makes it the whole big screen in case you know people have seventeen monitors or whatever, and they want to have just one of them be the map. They can do that. It's pretty cool. That's cool. And you can zoom it. Uh, I think you can zoom it to like that. You can zoom it to size, which is nice. You know, mm -hmm. I might start using this now because in yeah, but isn't that just a DM thing as a player? Yeah, you yeah, don't get yeah. the option. No, no, as a player, I doubt you can even do that. Let me let me see. Uh... Wait, how do you? Sh how do I you sh I don't think you have a, a character selected on the player option. No, but I should be able I should be able to sh share. The oh, I see. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm <laughs> Still can't share it. 
Uh, let's undo it. All right? And then now I should be able to... Sh yeah, so you can't share the big one. That's kind of a... You'd have to share it first, then blow it up, and then the player cannot do that. Oh, wait! Holy huh? mother of shit. Look at that, everybody. And then they can do the thing where it, it sizes. Nice. nice! It doesn't quite work exactly for the player, though. I see that it's not... It doesn't... Wait, wait. Yeah, it's sort of uh, a the... little off. It's a little off. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so that's there. They, it looks like they need to tweak that a little bit for the player side. But super nice because then you can just do line of sight and shading and shading. Uh, special effects, you can... Add fog, whatever. You can add, you can add a layer of... That's so cool. I just like that dynamic look. Yeah. Ugh, no more snow. I'm so sick and tired of snow. <laughs> look at that. It's the rail car floor plans. Boom. So... I mean, you know, let's put it back to where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, alright, what else, everybody? What else? Moskin files, I traumatize him. I will remember always. Isn't that the different that way the grid still works? Yeah, the grid still works. Um, what else? Any... What else was changed on the update? Mm, I I don't know. I I didn't. I actually didn't read the. Uh, hold on. Do this. What? You didn't read it? No, no, I don't read shit. Robert, shame on you. People tell me. Uh, <laughs> release notes. Let's go look. So, add dice skip experience variable to com add chat me message slash deliver chat message table input. Yeah, I know. I know everything that means. Add insert before attribute. See, this is dev. Whenever it says dev, you, you're like, yeah, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but this is this is not the – that's not the right – that's not the th okay. So that that's what you get by clicking the release notes. Or you know they still have. haven't put they still haven't put Twitter and Facebook on here. I've I've asked them a million times to do it. They still haven't done. It's it's part of the next update. It's on their list. No, of I've been asking them for like two years. <laughs> they're not going to do it. Yeah, it, it's on the list. It's it's backlogged. It's you know. <laughs> Uh, I thought there was, this was supposed to be where, okay, here, let's just go here and let's do this. They made uh, it easy to change the dice color. How did they change the dice color? Oh yeah. Dice. I think you can, I, th oh, oh, dice color change this, uh, oh, click the, the first circle to set user color. Click the second to toggle dice. Okay. Oh, and then you can RGB it. You can put in a hex code. Nice. And you can just do all this, and you can. I want blue here, and then I want to slightly tint it to purple, and whatever. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And then this one is wait. There's a... transparency to the dice, but they took out total transparency of dice. Fresh yeah, girls. I, I don't see how like transparency you. comes into it. I don't. See, I don't get it. I don't get it either. I don't get it. Uh. And then you can do you can be a you can be a total asshole and make your dice black and your letters so that nobody can see what you're rolling, and then or white or white yeah no, racist. Um, totally white, right? Same thing. Can't see what the numbers are, and then if you do that, on my okay. Table, so apparently there was a thing where you can make the dice invisible before the update. Oh, so they so we missed out on invisible dice because we weren't playing when it first came out. Oh, and you can, you can, Makes you can sad. color drop the, oh, <laughs> so I can make it the same color as my logo, whatever. You same... have like 14 different colors of purple in your logo. I know, so. but I, you know, whatever. I can make it the color of my face. My face is that color? Get the hell out of here. Here, let's make it, uh, the, you're probably let's like make it the color of, yeah. of Robin's forehead. There <laughs> we go. Let's black oh. those. That's funny. But yeah, so if you have an open map or a logo from a D and D book or something, you can just color dice. Oh, that's pretty. 
sophisticated that is nice now what i was trying to find is you should be able to see better update notes yeah and i forget what they're called uh update note try that the thing about this fantasy grounds forum is that if you search for something it times you out for 30 seconds uh can't search again ooh, for 30 seconds. that'd be fun okay so use the color picker to Take the chat background and see if you see just the numbers. Oh, right. I don't know, because they kind of do this little shadow and highlight thing with the um, with the dice. So I think you're yeah. still going to be able to... Yeah, you're going to still be the shadows yeah, of the yeah, dice. Yeah, exactly. You'd still be able to see it. They wanted to give you that idea that it's a three-dimensional object. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know how I and I, and I'm not seeing an effect the like the alpha. I'm not seeing how that affects it. I really don't see. I mean, it kind of does. You you can see the color slightly pulsate if I move it. I mean, very, barely even detectable with the human eye. But I don't I don't know what the hell is going on with that. And by the way, what's this? Why is there a second color down here? That was the previous color. Oh, it was. I see. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so go to forums and at city hall. Yes, this sounds right. City Hall. Okay, forum. <laughs> City Hall. Uh, it should be the sticky. There you go. Be, no, here cool. it is. Release updates for February 16th. Here we go. So they fixed a bunch of modules that had errors, but they always do that. But you want to find the... Uh, you want to find the, the the thing that says about like the rule set changes. Five E stars. What? That's it? No, I must have missed it. Was it there? Five E or core? Five E or core RPG? Either one of those. Here we go. I missed it. Uh. Ooh, role master. Unity classic. character encoding adjustments. That's important. I know what that means. That means... What, what does that mean? So I would get emails just nonstop for like the last month or two. Hey, mm -hmm. this 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 module I bought on DM Skill doesn't work. It doesn't even open in Unity. And I'd be like, what the fuck? And what it was was some apostrophe marks, um, quotation marks, and, and the like, semicolons, colons, all that stuff. Um... Fantasy Grounds Classic was pretty lax about being able to use all different forms of those because sometimes they were font-based and sometimes they were ASCII-based and all this kind of stuff. And so what you'd have to do is you'd have to go to the module, open it up, get into the DBXML, and then do this search and replace. Wait till I show you guys. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it in my email here. Uh... Oh, I thought he, I thought, mm, I thought he sent me a, where did I put that? Oh, cause it's just fascinating. Uh, I don't think it's in my, my orcs email. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time. I'll, I'll look for it once. Let me, let me see. Uh, uh, let me see if I can, no, not file name. I need to search for. Man, it should just be here. Anyway, the the point is, John uh, Moon Wizard sent me an uh, an email that said, "Do this search," and it's a search that has maybe 120 characters in it. It's a you wouldn't have any, and it's a it's a uh, it, it's a Notepad plus plus thing. Anyway, so what you had to do is you had to open the module, search and replace for all these characters, and then rezip it, and then then it would work. And what this thing that they're saying here is is that when you export from fantasy grounds it does that check for you automatically and fixes it so you don't have to do that anymore but it was a crazy thing uh i didn't see Sarah, anybody... i understand that <laughs> anybody else 
anyway, so this is the yeah. So the the thing that this gets you to here, this takes you to the release notes, which is major update stuff when they change versions. And then if you go to City Hall, uh, as I was instructed to do, you, you can then see the, the sleep breakdown. Yeah. And let me go back up to City Hall. Hey, where's the? Oh, here we go. Parent. F FG rule set updates. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. So they, I mean, there's just so many. They should make that like so easy to find. It's not easy, you know. You gotta. I would have never found it. anyway. Sidebar buttons migrated to smaller text-based buttons. Uh. List add buttons made to be always visible. Not sure I know what that means. Tooltips added to campaign list groups. So here's all the stuff they did for that February 16th update. Character desktop list to be unlocked and moved. That We talked about that. Image toolbar toggle tracks separately from GMs and players. Image toolbar always available when sent to background. We, we saw that. Image toolbar... Move to the right side. Current option values can be dragged to hotkeys and activated there. Oh, yeah, somebody told me about that. I thought you could do that already anyway, but I guess you can. Uh, add paging to module activation window to improve speed, which it absolutely did by a million percent, but you're limited to the 10. Add rule set generic loaded and shared filter toggles. Yeah, uh, we didn't see that today, but that's... um. That's here on the modules. You can, whoops, yeah, you can you can s sort by rule set or generic or all. The share filter, what's shared, what's unshared, and all. And then load filter, what's loaded, what's not loaded, and all. So those are the new things that they're talking about. Add message of the day campaign option, yep, we got that. Uh, new image record initial window size increased. I've noticed. I don't think I like that. Anyway, token lock toggle button added to the GM image toolbar. Token lock toggle button. What? I don't even know what that means. Any image asset can be set to the background. There we go. That's the one that I was had my attention brought to today. Thank you again. Limit asset search to three or more letters. Interesting. Oh, I guess the reason they're doing that is if you typed in just A or, you know, A, you, two letters or less, you it would give you a million of them. Last asset type filter in assets window is remembered. Yeah, that's okay. Add filter toggle to module activation. Well, yeah, okay. NPC import file button added to NPC campaign list. Okay. Lunar weekday abbreviations did not support non-ASCII two characters fixed. Offhand PC weapon damage would be converted to untyped, fixed. Ooh, I didn't even know that was a problem. Nice. Extra space and NPC size type alignment summary when record lock fixed. Nice. Racial language traits containing punctuation were not handling correctly on drag and drop. Didn't know that was a problem. Nice. Advanced class guide did not load when using setup window to load all rules. Oh, this is fucking Pathfinder. He gives a fuck. Starfinder, mm -hmm. Starfinder. <laughs> I'm out. Rude. Uh, totally People rude. care. They do. We'll go through it. Uh, theme issues. Oh, he's on the a link of that. For oh, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's the link, everybody. Sorry about that. Send link. Boom, like that. And 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 to know and to uh to know how to get to that, it was it was uh City Hall, uh, rule set updates for uh, February 2020. February 2020, I think he meant 21. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he meant 21. Uh, what? I can't. I can't talk in here. What the fuck? <laughs> How come I can't? You oh, am I not even signed in or something? What the hell's going on here? No, I'm signed Easy. in. Oh, I think it's that if you if, just if, don't you, have permissions. if user if user equals Rob Tui do not allow yeah that's probably what's going on. Um, 
So, also in Pathfinder, Advanced Class Guide did not load when using Setup Window. So that's fixed. In Starfinder, theme theme issues when dealing with one ability or any one ability fixed. Script error when reopening map for starships fixed. And then devs, actor resolution helper scripts updated to support additional record types. Uh-huh. Actor health helper script added. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fucking don't know what any of this means. Global scripts changed to use indirect referencing of contained functions. That, even though I don't know exactly what that means, that sounds good. Because indirect is better than direct. Anyway, I don't know. There you go, everybody. So that's... they. I think they should have that... Uh, I think they should have a button on the splash page that brings you right to City Hall. But, I mean, how hard is it to just go to City Hall? So there you go. I'm going to... Because you can't chat in that, uh... Because I can't. I can't. And it bothers you that much? Well, I'm sure he's going to see it and go, oh, fuck, I better change that. Or maybe you just don't have permissions. No, 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 no I don't, I'm not, I'm, that's why I'm PMing him is because I can't type, if I, otherwise I would have typed it in there and made it publicly available for everyone to see so he could be more embarrassed. But just send him a personal message. Maybe you're not supposed to have permissions? I, I think that's right, because he doesn't want, that's not a thread he wants comments in, he just wants to post the information. Although, uh -huh. let's just go back to that for a second, because... Wish X had permission. Wish X is a SmiteWorks employee, though. Yeah. One of our support guys. That's what it says. What the fuck is that? <laughs> See? Uh, yeah, so it's you... not that he hates you. It's just no, 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 you it's not. I, I are not an official employee. So. I always make the joke. Think, they have was... new gear? I want a mug. Let's look at that yeah, mug. Yeah, they got all kinds of shit, yeah. I have this T-shirt right here. I got it at the in Florida when I went to the. It cost me twenty five hundred dollars. This T-shirt. Um, <laughs> Doug was very upset when I did the Kickstarter, and I became a patron, and my rank on the things is Saint. And he told me he emailed me. He said it just doesn't seem right that Mister Rob Tui is a saint. patron saint. Yeah, <laughs> he goes that just that doesn't calculate awesome. with me. And I'm like, yeah, it's awesome. All right, back to business. Ooh, color picker. All right, so we learned some new things. There we go. Now, uh, what I was hoping for is anybody had any questions. I'm going to give away a prize, though. Let's do it. Okay. They, they've suffered long enough. Yeah. So this prize will be for anything on the DMs Guild. Whoever the winner is can pick any item on the DMs Guild. No packages, please. And I'll give it to you. So uh, Any Rob, single item. Any single with item. With Rob Tui's name on it. Right. Doesn't have to be, it, it doesn't have to be... Anything I made, but anything that I had a hand in, anything with my name on it. So there's like 400 options. Um, and I will give you a keyword, everybody. The keyword is update. No, it's better. Oh, okay. Keyword is Fury Fate. One R. Fury oh, Fate, everybody. God. Let's see. You got to type in. Exclamation point. Mr. Wolf just misspelled it. He did? Uh-huh, he put an L in there. Oh, yeah, it's not, not it's not flurried fate, it's fury fate. <laughs> um, okay, Mr. Wolf got I mean, I, I had flurries for, for the weather, but you know. Make sure you see your name pop up on this list over here, guys, and if you don't, <laughs> that means that you typed it in wrong. If you see your name there, you're good to go. Um... And then I'll draw a winner. And, and and then unless anybody has more questions, you know, we can show how to work stuff you guys have or anything. Thank you mm -hmm. to Gore Vidal and McClancy for being something that gives you whatever these things are. <laughs> well, Gore Vidal is a VIP. McClancy, I think, is a moderator. I think that's what he is. Moderator. All right. Keyword raffle has been complete. 11 entries. The winner is boom. Nafum. So Nafam, you know what to do. Uh, PM me your DM Guild email and the title you wish to have in Discord, and I will get it to you. And that's how that works. 
Um, if you guys have more questions, go ahead. We'll answer those for you. If not, if everybody's sort of done wanting – and by the way, for the next few weeks, I think the show's going to just be this. I don't have any guests. I don't have anybody coming on. Everybody oh, I, I have something to mention to you. Oh, but, okay. Um... okay. Um, <laughs> and if you guys that are watching – know any rpg people fantasy grounds involved or adjacent that you think might be a good guest on the show then you know send me a message about that because we'll you know we'll get a hold of them and try to get them on the show we'll Um, stock them send them a fruit basket whatever send them a fruit basket (laughs) what Um, i like fruit (laughs) that's a good idea um so what we're gonna do? We do every Sunday. Is we'll you know it, when the stream stops, we'll come back and play uh, Jackbox Party Pack game. So if you if you are watching right now on Twitch Live and you haven't watched us, haven't been with us before, that's our normal thing. Is we stop the stream and then we wait like three or five minutes. We bring it back and play the Jackbox games, and you guys can all play. And you can either be in the specific game with us, or just a member of the audience. And we can have up to 10,000 players, not a joke. That's totally true. And even if you're not in the game, but you're still a member of the audience playing the game, you, you do have an effect. You can sway votes and super fun. Bell, Bell's always with us. She loves it. And uh, Diablo Bob is not here, but he hates trivia. He hates it. Um, I don't know if he's here. Is he here? Oh, he is here. Maybe he is here. Um, <laughs> and who was with us last week that completely, like, sweet? Oh, somebody that had never played with us before. <laughs> Fuck trivia. Somebody that had never played with us before won like all three <laughs> games or something. Oh no, I, I think I won the, uh, the yeah the murder he mystery, was... but he won two games and he'd never been with us before. It was amazing. I forget who that was. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, so if nobody else has any questions, uh, we will end this stream. If you're watching on YouTube again, come and join us on Sunday nights because we give away prizes and we play games too. So. Don't fuck up, is my message to you. This is an adult stream, by the way. No kids. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tom Knapp. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Anything else, Fury? Do you want to say anything before we end this one and start the next one? No, but uh, good night, everybody, and I hope y'all stay warm. Yes, yeah, stay warm. Don't live in Texas. Thank you. These are my advice tips for you. <laughs> Don't live in Texas. It's not probably good advice for all of a sudden. People that live in Texas aren't going to like my advice because it's already too late. Um, all right, guys. Hey, Gwydion, what's up? Gwydion, <laughs> he's hanging out. Didn't know. So, uh, stream's going to end, but don't go away. We'll be back in, uh, you know, like less than five minutes. And until then, good gaming, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>